Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Shadow Hearts. Uh, we are now going to enter Feng Shun after our last episode. So, I mean, I haven't done anything other than ending the episode, which was about a week ago. But for you guys, it'll be instantaneous. So, I'm sorry, I just got done working on some a little like. <laughs> so, let's enter Feng Shun. Uh, I think we're about to deal with some some. Some stuff's about to happen. So let's head there. <laughs> Lieutenant Colonel Kawashima. Well, well, what a lovely sight this is. You there, what were they escorting anyway? A man eating tiger? No, ma'am, I'll say it. Caucasian female, possibly 20 years old. She white as fuck. Yes, that's how I call her as well. Oh, I don't see a body here of that description. I imagine the girl killed all these men. I, I never imagined who being could kill like this. It's horrible. Major Suji, I uh, hear FDR exploits in Chang Chun. Did you ever suspect you'd capture a creature? Hmm, if all the years old drama can't bring in one little girl, they don't deserve to live. <sighs> I was so looking forward to bringing a word of these souvenir back to Tokyo for father. What a waste. Yeah, you can't kill him. You can't kill a cow machine. We are witness. An elderly panelist says a suspicious looking man passed through in the aisle. What kind of man? Someone from anti Japanese movement, perhaps? No, ma'am. It seems he was a Western gentleman. White people. And there was another man as well. Another one, you said? Yes, ma'am. A wiry youth. He seemed to be following the first man. Apparently, they both headed off in the direction of the Sanan car. Does this mean he had help? A foreign gentleman and the youth? Hmm, a strange combination. What are you orders, man? Take care of the bodies. Have them sent to the capital. I recall the, ma the major saying his six-year-old granddaughter couldn't wait for Grandpa to come home. The girl will surely shed tears of joy when she finds out he's returning earlier than expected. Yes, ma'am! Place troops in Feng Shin and surrounding cities. We must use this chance to crush all vile little termites that have infested our utopia. Yes, ma'am! This is getting interesting. Just as I expected, it seems the girl possesses incredible powers. Now I see why that wizened old demon in Shanghai was so hell-bent. Heh, <laughs> beware, old man. As the hawk in flight snatches its prey away from the wolf on the ground, I mean to have that girl. Between my legs. <laughs> what the fuck? De Hua. De Hua? I don't know how to pronounce his name. My, my, this is quite an anomaly. Hey, perhaps I'm getting rusty. Have I somehow summoned you here by mistake? It's been 15 years of Roger Bacon. Oh, 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 it has been some time, hasn't it? Hmm, I still don't know what kind of voice I want to give him. I'm pleased to see you looking so well, oh great magician. Master De Hua, fallen ruler of the Nine Heavens, Earth Sage. As you are still wearing that pasted on smile, you have too much time on your hands, you infectious plague. What brings you to Shanghai? Surely not simply to pay me a visit. Too many characters. Too many characters keep, vo keep voice tracking. <laughs> no, say nothing I already know. Indeed, I found myself at a loss in this strange land, and I'm afraid I've made a slight blunder. An unforeseen meddler has entered the game, and my little bird is still outside her cage. <laughs> Unlike you to make excuses. You need not apologize for going behind my back and abducting the girl. I indeed, indeed I suspected you would. Come now, there's no need to be so severe. So gauche, I was merely indulging myself in a small uh, divertisement. With your grand server drawn near, you needn't to deal with, the, with minor trifles. <laughs> I thought I'd lend a hand. You jest. Are you telling me you would have to deliver the girl to on her capture? Why, of course. The progress of your secret ceremony is of great interest to me, Master De Hua. If this girl called Alice truly is the key to the ritual, I will do everything within my power to help. A sly old fox you are. Silver fox? Camera angle change. 
The Divine Septagram. So, in fact, pre preparations for your Demon Gate invocation are almost complete. I have taken the liberty of sealing up the Protector of the North, the Black Tortoise of Xiaoyang Village. It would have stood in the way of the rituals, but that no longer matters. The spirit machine of Ku Kui Ha Tower is finally operational. I can now focus entirely on finding the girl. Hmm, well, well. I look forward to seeing the Great Sage himself in action. So then, have you discovered the girl's whereabouts? Of course, I have eyes everywhere on the continent. <laughs> Very well, I'll tell you. She's in Fengshan. Fengshan? Hasn't the Japanese army set up operations there? My voice is starting to give out. I can't imagine they caught wind of it, but it seems they lie in wait for the girl as well. I honestly can't keep up with the voices. <laughs> we have nothing to fear from them. The Japanese army is in disarray and staffed with more odds. They present little threats, save for a bothersome fly named Kawashima that's been snooping about. The girl is already mine. <laughs> Splendid. I'll be off to Fengshan then. Ellipsis. Please, don't concern yourself with me. I haven't any intention of getting in your way, good sage. I'd simply like to observe your technique from afar, for future reference, you see. Very well, then. Do as you please. Ah, yes, I need to forget. There's a rather uh, odd fellow accompanying the girl. Even stranger, he's a harmonixer, a master of fusion. What? Fusion? Are you absolutely certain? I'm afraid so. You yourself have substantial blood connection to the Harmonix line, don't you not? I'd rather not see a repeat of events of 15 years ago. Please be wary. You wouldn't want to lose the half of your body that remains. Oh, that was uncalled for. Forgive me. Hmm, the tricky old bastard. He spies on me with impunity. Listen well, minions and thanks out. That fraud of a warlock is headed for your city. Do not feel me outwitted. I shall be most disappointed to defer to capture a single heretic girl. I shan't allow anyone to stand in the way of the Demon's Gate invocation. Our success or failure depends entirely on that girl, Alice Elliot. <laughs> scratching my arm. Glorious scratching. Sleeping on a bench with your skirt all hiked up. Ugh, morning already? Well, at least we got a little rest. Even after all that crap that went down, she walked all night. Pretty impressive. <laughs> For a girl, I mean. I think I'll let her sleep a little longer. On a fucking bench. Sniff, sniff. Hmm. Pretty cute. I guess you dumb mutt. Oh boy. It's the voice of the demons. Life. This. Yeah. You. Uh, motherfucker. Ah, what is it, you mutt? And wait, why the voice? Why the voice indeed, my friend? Why the voice indeed? Okay, so let's talk to this guy. There we go, I'm not there, so I don't speak, I don't sell much, so I thought it was yours called the. Oh, so we get the pedometer. There we go. Uh, wear that when you walk through, uh, danger, it'll count your steps, get enough and win a cool prize. No, it's pretty dumb, man. I don't want it. No, no, I'll have it if I can. Are you selling it? I am sorry, but I don't have any merchandise to at the moment. What a punk ass. Okay, so we got the pedometer, and, uh, we can actually equip it, I think. There we go. So it counts number of steps in dangerous areas, and then you're able to uh, get items based on that. So I'm just going to put it on him for now, but I, I switch it up. I usually put it on Alice, I think. Okay. Old couple! No, no, don't hit me, sir, please! Hey, I guess you're not Japanese. I have never seen eyes that color before. Jesus. So what's back here? Where is it? You just... What? What? We just... There we go. So we got the Talisman of Luck. Okay, let's take a look at it. Oh, we have this, which renders poison ineffectual, and we have the Star Brooch, which escape possible even with all Berserk allies. So you can escape even if you're Berserk. We're not going to keep that equipped. So we got... I think we've seen Talismans. Yeah, we've seen Talismans of Luck. So we're good! Okay. We'll talk to this dude, I think. 
building lobby bay. Do you see the hotel? It is 800 rooms, 20 dining rooms, and 1,500 bellboys. Just a day's stay there costs goodness. A month's salary for me. Hmm? You. That. Hey, buddy. How about it? Want to stop in and play? P play? Play what? You don't know? It's the first time, man? Then let me explain. That ticket you have there, it's a lottery ticket. When you have a lottery ticket, we members of the World Lottery Association let you play for lots of fabulous prizes. But we never tell anyone about the lottery unless they have a ticket. Basically, the lottery is a secret. Don't worry, it's not shady. The chairman is just funny that way. Son of a bitch. <laughs> World Lottery Association? <laughs> the way the chairman likes it? It all sounds pretty fishy to me. Don't ask me any more than I already told you. If I tell you anything more about the chairman, it could mean my life. Just kidding, but seriously, it could strain our beautiful friendship. Ah, they say the proof is in the pudding. Try it once, you'll see what it's all about. What do you say? Want to play? Uh, so I'm not going to play. Um, doesn't matter what he says right now. Um, no, I'm not giving him a try. I want to wait till I'm able to save because you want to get certain items that they offer you. Uh, but they're hard. You basically are playing the uh, judgment wheel, ring, whatever. So I will wait till a certain area, then I will be able to play. So, anything you say, anything interesting? Ever since they beat the Russians. What about you? Is this Rocky Four. Looking for it? Me too. Set it. Okay, let's talk to uh, let's talk to Alice. Get up. What? Hedge. Uh. Hmm. Yeah. Did I not speak to everyone? I thought I spoke to everyone. Did I speak to this guy? This old man? God have, God have mercy. That should be everyone. There we go. Yeah, you have to talk to everyone in the area. We're in there. Oh, you're up? You okay? You were sweating like crazy. Have a nightmare or something? It was terrible. I was in a dark room in the hospital and there was a woman all alone crying. She she was staring at me and then that man, the one from the train, bacon appeared. Remember that. Remember that dream. What happened to the woman? I don't know. It got all dark. It got dark on I couldn't see. <laughs> don't let it get to you. It's just a dream, right? And the old guy, what's his name? Bacon, right? If he shows up again, well, I'll make him wish he didn't. Tee hee. Wow, I knew she was going to fucking say that. Okay, so now that we have Alice back, um, we can go this way, I believe. This is where we want to go. I think there's a... Well, unbelievable! Damn sure taking about scaring of all my customers. Oh, hey, you there. We got lots of good stuff. Come take a lift. So, right there. See this up here? That's a chest. And we got a tent. Okay, so... Oh, no, 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 no. Go back, go back, go back, go back, motherfucker. We need to go back. Goddamn loading times in this game, huh? Huh? Yeah. Let's go back in here. So something should happen in here now. Oh, boy. Who's this busty, beautiful, bevy of a bountiful woman? Click, click, click. Mm. This is Malkovich. I've placed the bomb in the South Manchurian Railway Depot as scheduled. We blow up those cars and the Japanese army will be stuck here for at least two months. Ha! I can see the look on that idiot Kawashima's face now. Not that I know what she looks like. Malkovich, why is a pro like you always letting your personal fears get involved? Our objective is to track movements of the Japanese army, not cause I'm on trouble. Speaking of I'm on trouble, you didn't see any unnecessary bombs this time, right? Mm, don't worry, only one. Malkovich! She make her she wear a Russian accent though, huh? What else could I do? There are plenty of innocent people working in that depot too, you know. And and they all have these cute little lunch boxes. Anyway, all I did was set the little one outside. See, it'll go pop before the big one. Everyone will come running out to see what it was, then kaboom. Oh ho 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 Don't don't get into one of those moods on me. Look, I'd better finish up my work here. My handiwork will be in the papers again. Make sure you check out the morning editions. K then, bye! Interesting. I really do love the, uh, 
the characters in this game. Fuck. Fuck. No. Uh, okay, so... Oh, here it fancy seeing you here. Will you actually follow me, you little, you little devil? Care for some acupuncture treatments or some mox busting? Uh, no thanks. It's pretty expensive. Okay. I love the shop. We can't waste too much time, though. Your voice just changed. Okay, so we got it from Dry Goods, blah, blah, blah. Oh, a guild card. So this is the guild card I picked up. Uh, and it gives us a 10% discount on items we buy. And then you can raise the prices you sell by 5%. And then, so let's see if I can do something like that. So I definitely want the Knuckle Blade for Yuri. And then you could try for a discount. So it's, uh, uh, and uh. So they, I mean, you save, what, 120 bucks? I'm going to take it. I definitely want the Shooting Star Tome for Alice. I think it's different, though, for each item. Obviously, the more expensive the item, uh, the better the discount, so... It could be a little more annoying to get that. I think we have enough. Yeah, we just have enough to get his leather vest. So we'll get a hundred bucks off. And we have just enough to get her leather skirt. Perfect. Perfecto! So we got the 10%, so we got the London Square. Okay, so this stuff obviously is way too expensive. We're not going to buy it. And we don't need any of this. So we're going to go to the menu. Is Toss on strongest? No, 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 no. Actually, you can keep the star brooch. And then let's do strongest, change to the shooting star. Uh, but I think I really want you to have the the pedometer for now. Okay. Where were we? Oh, we can fight a new Malice, huh? Okay, so we have the discounting, the lottery. Uh, abnormalities narrow, we dealt with that stuff. And frequently, no, guild cards don't expire. So why don't we head to the graveyard? Alright. See if I can fight something new. Anything we can battle? <laughs> you wish to acquire the battles. Yeah, you get a pound dead. Let's see what we got here. Have I faced evil? What is this? Evil which one? This is evil two. So I think I faced evil one, evil two, and evil four. I don't think I faced evil five yet. I mean evil three yet? I can always just check the the in-game diary. So I'm gonna I'm going to end this episode. I think because I'm not sure if I can go back there just yet. Um, hmm. I'm trying to think. Yeah, I can't do the lottery yet because of. Uh, Actually, I think I can leave this area. I want to keep it in one episode because I need to save. Nice, got thoroughly. So we're gonna. We just cleared out our malice. Let's go back over here. Let's leave because I think we have one scene we have to watch, and then I can save. I can end the episode save and then do the lottery. Uh, let's actually, yeah, let's do that. So let's dip set. No, actually, I don't want a dip set. There is something I wanted to pick up. Okay, so anything I want to sell? Nothing particularly. How many tents do I have? I could buy, like, a tent. Uh, I have five. Okay, that's good. Alright, let's head out here. Are you ready? Shoot, damn right I am, little folk. Well then, about time to get going, eh? This is an emergency broadcast from Tension Radio. The army has issued the following report. The criminal suspected in a mass murder of army soldiers aboard the Cheng Chong Fengshan train today have disappeared in Fengshan. The ring leader is a thin Caucasian female. All suspicious persons will be recorded in HQ immediately. Fantastic. Hey, 
That broadcast us now. Don't tell me. Are you people? Honey, did I help? What's he gonna do? We're gonna beat the shit out of him. You know, this made a mistake. Hero? Damn it, what a bother. Let's go, Alice. Right. Oh, no, I gotta do my Russian accent. Right, here it goes nice. I'm going, I'm setting off the bomb. Now! What the? Ah! You stupid brawn! Damn, yo. How did she jump from the roof? Uh, hey now, what's with the big boom all of a sudden? Whoa, lady, I can see her. Good, you're alive. Thank God the bomb I designed to save people didn't end up killing them. Anyway, I hope you got a good look, sonny boy. Just think of it as my apology. And how are you feeling, miss? Um, I'm alright. Damn it! You, no, what was that? Hey, look, a white woman! And there's a guy with that is fucking racist. That is racist as shit. White. We prefer to be called melanin impaired. Ha, cowards. About what I expect from Kawashima's men. Their main town seems to be running away. Hehe, <laughs> so they're after you too, are they? To us, we're not bomb toting terrorists, you hear? Jeez, lady, my ears are still ringing. <laughs> Don't worry, that's a clear up. Now then, I've got to get out of here before they come back. But, what are you going to do? I can't babysit. But can you come with me? You, you can come with me if you want. Okay, I'm going on ahead. See ya! Uh... My god, what's our problem? We could've been killed! Yuri, did you hear that radio broadcast? Yeah, sounds like they've been blamed- we've been blamed for the attack on the train last night. Is it me? Don't worry, I'm your accomplice after all. Wait a sec, we can't sit around chatting, let's move! Looks like we can get out through here like that woman did. Okay, so let's go back in here though. Even though they threw us out? And, okay, so the lottery guy is in here. So I'm going to save. I'm going to uh, end the episode. Save. I'm saving, then ending the episode. And then I will do the lottery and keep rinsing and repeating until I get the item I want. So thank you guys so much for watching, and remember, keep on laughing.